<clears throat> Hi, and welcome to video two for week eight, section three, three savings accounts in our textbook. Here is a little eye opener for you. In 1961, there was a pizza restaurant called Dominic's. It was owned by two brothers. One of the brothers really needed a car, so he traded his half of the business for a used Volkswagen Beetle. 38 years later, that business is known as Domino's, the most successful pizza chain in the world. Do you think the brother is regretting his decision? Let's go back to our last notes page from the first day of this week, uh, Savings Accounts Day 1, and write a question in our left-hand column. Uh, I have an example here that you are welcome to use. It is, how do I determine the decimal point number of a fraction? And the answer is, you just plug the fraction into my calculator as a division problem and hit enter. For instance, one-third is one divided by three. Five-eighths is five divided by eight. Once you have a question down, this one or one of your own choosing, please circle 24, and hopefully your 10 is already circled. Please title the next page of your notebook as 3-3, Saving Accounts Day 2. Today is November 5th or 6th. Uh, the learning target is I'll be able to understand the basic vocabularies of our savings accounts and compute simple interest. When you have that filled in, please hit play again and proceed with the video. Here is example 3, which is on page 133. It says Mitchell deposits... Um, $1,200 in an account that pays 4.5% simple interest. He keeps the money in the account for three years without any deposits or withdrawals. How much is in the account after three years? We're just going to use the interest formula. I equals PRT. Interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. So our principal is $1,200. And our rate is 4.5% as a decimal, 0 0.045. And our time is three years. If we plug that into our calculator, and if you do use the parentheses, it's, it knows to multiply. 12,000 times 0 0.045 times 3, it equals 162. But it wants to know how much is in the account after three years, so we have to add it to the original 1,200, excuse me. 1,200 plus 162 equals 1,362. Please get that down in your notebook, and when you're ready, hit play again to proceed with the video. Here's a check your understanding. It says how much simple interest is earned on $4,000 in three and a half years at the interest rate of 5.2%. So again, this is what we're going to use. I equals PRT. So that is going to be principal, $4,000. <clears> rate, 0 0.052. Time is 3.5. You plug that into your calculator. And you get $728. Get that down and we'll proceed to the next slide. When you're ready, plus play again. Example four, also on page 133, how much simple interest does $2,000 earn? in seven months at an interest rate of 5%. So, here we don't have a full year, which is what our uh, time is measured in, but we know it's seven months and we know there's 12 months in the year. So we're just gonna write out 2,000 times our interest rate, which is 0.05, and 7 over 12 is the number of months or the time involved. 
If you plug that into your calculator, what you get is about $58.33. Get that down in your notebook and hit play when you are ready to proceed. Here's a check your understanding. It says, how much simple interest would $800 earn in 300 days? In a non-leap year at an interest rate of 5.71, rounded than your cent. All they're trying to get you to do here is to think about a year, not just as a decimal point, but in our first example here, as a number of months in a year, and here, and a number of days in a year. So instead of writing 7 over 12 like we did for our last example, we would write 800 times... 0 0.0571 times 300 out of 365 days. And the answer to this is $37.55. Get that down, and when you're ready to go on to the next slide, hit play. Here's example 5. Example 5 is on page 134 of our text. It says, how much principal must be deposited to earn $1,000 simple interest in two years at a rate of 5%? Or well, it says use I equals PRT, except we have to change this around. We know I equals PRT, but it wants to know what P is. So if we divide both sides by RT... This cancels out, and what we get is P equals I divided by RT. So, we would write 1,000, that's the interest that we want, divided by 0 0.05, that's our interest, times the number of years 2. What does that equal? It equals... $10,000. That's the amount of principal we need to earn $1,000 in two years or 5%. Please get that down, and we will go on to the next slide. Here's example six. Derek has a bank account that pays 4.1% simple interest, and the balance is $9, excuse me, $910. When will the account grow to $1,000? Well, here what they want to know is time. So we take our I equals PRT and we divide both sides by PR. These cancel out and what we get is T equals I divided by PR. So we plug in 90 divided by a thousand dollars times point zero. 4, 1. And what you get for time is 2.2 years. If you want to figure out what that is in, in months, you would go 2.2 times 12. And it is 26.4 months. So we would just round up and say 27 months. That's how long it's going to take. Get that down. And we will proceed. Here's example seven. Carrie invests $5,000 in a simple interest account for five years. What interest rate must the account pay so there is $6,000 in it at the end of five years? So what they want to know now is interest rate. So we take our P, excuse me, I equals PRT. And we divide both sides by... PT, these cancel, and what we get is I divided by PT equals R. So, what's the interest that we need? We need $1,000, right, to make it $6,000. And we divide that by our principal, $5,000, and our years, which is five. And that equals 0 0.04, which, if you turn that decimal into a percentage rate, is 
That is the amount of interest you need to make $1,000 over five years on a $5,000 deposit at simple interest. Compound interest next week. Aren't you excited? Get that down and we'll proceed to our next slide. Here is our assignment. It is problem 7, 8, 10, 13, and 16. I believe I took 17 out. It is assignment number 14 in Canvas. Thanks again for being here. We'll see you next time.